What's going on, guys? Rob here. And uh, Robbie Wartburg, just a little while ago, um, was letting me know that he was interested in possibly seeing um, my app set. Um, I only purchased it about six months ago. And um, I had an old set. What's up, OG? I had an older set, Atba. Um, it was a used one, okay? And I got actually got it at a yard sale. What's up, Robbie? You just brought your name up. And um, so I had the 95 set. I had the Braves, Red Sox. I don't forget which teams it had. Dodgers. Uh, Indians. Rockies. Yes, I had the Rockies in it. It did. Um, I don't forget who all I had, but anyway, um, played it a little bit. And I was like, yeah, it's okay. It's pretty good. But, uh, then I found this one. I was able to get it. It was a sealed one. And I thought, well, I may like it better. And then when I ordered it from somebody, I was like, I was kind of in the middle, middle there. Yeah, that's what we were talking about right there. My It's a 94 set. And um, I didn't want it. So I decided I'm going to put it on um, eBay. Well, the problem with that, when it's sealed, people want to know what eight teams are included. So uh, I didn't know it was 94 or 95 set. I'll show you what gives it away, though. Let me stand up. It's uh, it's that tight. Look at it. I'm holding by the edges. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So that shows you how, you know, that it's brand new. <laughs> Let's see. Yes. Could have at least opened it before I came in here, couldn't I? But I just wanted to show you that it is. It is a new set. All right. Okay. Well, let's so show you what we get with it. All right. I guess you know you get the board. You can look at the board and see it's immaculate. It's in great, great, great shape. Uh, base is empty. Uh, runner on first. Runner on second. Runner on third. Runners on first and second. Hey, what's up, Strat? Hi, Mrs. Rob. Hello, guys. <laughs> uh, runners on first and third. Base is full. And runners on second and third. All right. So you got all the charts there. And you get the certificate of authenticity. This is a one, this is one of a limited edition of 12,000 of a new version of App that came, was manufactured in 95 and uh, the game was re originally released in 1951 and uh, this is the first limited baseball edition issued by Atma 8347 8347 I know I gave way too much for the yeah I gave way too much for this game uh, it still has the paperwork where you can order it from guys and this is still Lancaster you know, anybody that knows where Atma's at now is Alpharetta, Georgia. It's just, you know, it's just telling you where you, how you can upgrade and go to new stuff and all that type of stuff there. It's a little book included. Um, order, order blank. Pro Baseball Instruction Booklet. Uh, this must be the basic game. I don't know. What, what what would you call us some strat? Is this a basic game? I guess it is. I don't think it's a ma I don't think you would call this anything about master. Uh, there's your score sheets. Never been touched. Um, the reason I know it's a ninety four set. I'll show you. Because like I say, right here, they've never been touched. These guys, these have never been messed with. This is no. I I don't know. I can't tell. I can't tell you, Robbie. I do not know, but it does say right here 
look right there where it says senior circuit, 1994 season, and then they get the junior circuit. And that was the starting lineups that they, you know, that they regularly played and uh, extra pitchers. So they got that all listed right there. That came with the set. Um, yeah. What team are we interested in looking at? I gave you the eight teams. Oh, it's got a bunch of dice in there. With five or six dice in there. Yeah. Red, chips, all sorts of stuff. You want to see the Rangers? Sure. Let's, see. Let's make sure it's nothing under here. I don't think it is. Yeah. So uh, you can see it's immaculate, but like I say, I gave more for the game than I probably wanted to or should have. All right. But uh, I was thinking there was something I really wanted. And I, I noticed it was the 94, 1990s, and it's brand new. And it was sealed. It was sealed when I got it. Then when I put it online, everybody's like, I want to know what teams you got. That's the only way I'll buy it from you. Uh, so then it was uh, the White Sox, Indians, Yankees, and Rangers. Let's open the Rangers. Never open them. Right here. Okay. All right. Matt Whiteside. Okay. Let's see. I'll put them right here. Uh, Chris Carpenter. Is that the same one? Pitch for the car. Uh, pitch for the Cardinals. I don't know. Chris Carpenter. He's a pitcher. Tom Hinkie. Tom Hinkie. What the? Darren Oliver. He's a pitcher. He's a, uh, yeah. He's a lefty. Darren Oliver. Uh, Doug Strange. He was a hitter. Yeah, second base, third base, shortstop, and outfield. He played all those. Yeah. Oda B. McDowell. Didn't he play? Didn't he play for the uh, Braves at one time? I don't know. Oda B. McDowell. Maybe not. Junior Ortiz, catcher. And all the Ortizes are catchers, I guess. I don't know. Kenny Rogers, the gambler. And John Detmer. He was a relief pitcher. I'm not sure. And then Kevin Brown, the chainsaw. Kevin Brown. Kevin Brown, the chainsaw. <laughs> Hector Fajardo. Fajardo. What's that? Juan Gonzalez. Juan Gone. Remember him? Juan Gonzalez. Dean Palmer. Yeah, he was a good hitter. Power hitter. Rusty Greer. Rafael Palmeiro, he might be. We'll see in a minute. Here's Pudge Rodriguez. He's on here. How about that? Pudge. Yeah, Palmer was pretty good player. Pretty good catcher right there. Manny Lee played shortstop for him. Manny Lee. You guys can tell I hadn't played it at all. I hadn't, I hadn't touched it. David Hulse, the incredible Hulse. <laughs> Hulse. <laughs> incredible Hulse. David Hulse, outfielder. Jeff Fry. I still got a few more players. Ah. Wait a minute. You see the next player. Anybody remember the head ball? <laughs> Jose Canseco. <laughs> Fireman right here. Will the Thrill Clark. How about that? Will the Thrill. That's the last one. 
How about that? So a pretty good team there. Jose, can you see? Yeah, so uh <clears throat> yeah, that was that was a team there. Um uh, like I say, I, I all I did was when somebody asked it up asked uh what teams were available, I just posted online uh the eight teams. I never even nobody even asked who are the te- you know who are the players for each team. Anybody else want to see another team? Uh, National League was what did I say? Atlanta. I didn't say Pirates though. No, not Pirates. Cincinnati, uh, Dodgers, and Montreal. How about the Expos? How about that? That's got to be cool within itself. Just see the Expos doing anything. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah, that's a pretty nice looking set. Like I say, I, I, um, I went to a yard sale and I got the 95 set and, um, uh, I couldn't stand the Braves. That's my, that's my dad's team. So it had like Maddox, Glavin, uh, Wollers, uh, it had all, all of the Braves. So I was playing a set, and my dad's an older guy, and he really, really didn't understand it. And I forgot what team I had playing against them, and they were just beating the shit out of the Braves. I mean, they were beating the crap out of them. And I ended up, I, I told my wife, I said, I'm going to do one good thing. And, and like I said, my dad's in his 80s, and I was like, Dad, the Braves are coming back. The Braves are, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, here they are. They're in 94. They're in the 94 set. Here they are. But this was a 95 set. Yeah, I'm sure it's a good set right there inside there. But uh, I was like, Dad, they come back and beat me. I don't forget who it was, who I was playing with, whatever. But uh, the Braves just weren't hitting nothing that day. And they really didn't, did not do a comeback. But as far as he knows, it was a comeback. Do we have any Yankees fans? Have any Yankees fans? <laughs> Braves fans, whoever. But uh yeah. So uh yeah, the Braves were hard to beat in the in the nineties. They really were. But uh I've got I thought every I thought everybody had seen my like my little dungeons dungeon set downstairs. I've got I got stacks stacks of board games. I've got uh, risk. I've got four or five risk games, and some of them, some of them, are, you know, are older. And then I have older uh, baseball games and stuff like that. That, that dice ball, <laughs> locked in your dungeon. Well, you can see how you know what kind of shape it's in. It's a pretty good shape. I got I got uh, tables set up here for everything I'm selling and stuff. So that's the way I do that. But I've got, I've got like police scanners, stuff like that, whatever I can find <clears throat> that I want to get rid of and all. Uh, Robbie, if your name gets drawn next week, I have a 91 hockey uh, rookies set. Um, that had uh, what's his name, Dar? Lindros. Lindros has Lindros on the front of it, along with another guy that sets yours. If you if you if we end up drawing your name, Robbie doesn't want to buy this set. I'm telling you, I paid way too much for it. I really did. I don't I don't even know how much won it. Uh, yeah, but that's yours though. If if I draw your name, that one's going to be yours. That hockey set's going to be yours. It's uh, it's all of the first round picks of that year. I want to say ninety or ninety one, something like that. But uh, yeah, I, I was I was going through a phase here back in uh, back in last year, and I was just ordering everything and I was seeing and all, and I was just like, after I ordered it, I told my wife, I said. I really don't want this. So uh, 
I, you know, like I say, you can see what kind of shape it's in. It's in pretty, pretty darn good shape. Um, I don't even know how much brand new right now. How much would a 2019 set like this cost? You know, I, I couldn't even tell you. I could not even begin to tell you how much an app by set cost. But, uh, no, I, I couldn't tell you that at all. A scoreboard. Uh, I, but, uh, here we go. But yeah, yeah. Now, I wonder if I even offer like a set like this, if you could go go back in it, in it, you know, go back and get this set. I wonder if you could, like, order it, back order or whatever, um, <laughs> where, where it would be new or old or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Rob wants to know you're a offer. <laughs> Rob wants to sell it. Rob would love to sell it. Yeah. I'm not going to lie about it. Yeah, I got the box down. I still got the box downstairs that it came in when I got it. Anthony, there he is. I, I was going to put your damn face on a milk carton. Hadn't seen you in so long. What's up? It's been a while. I was showing the guys what I got. Yeah, I've had a few months. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, the 90, what, what, set, what year did I say this was, guys? 94? 94, 94? 94 set, I think. Because uh, one of them said something else. Uh, uh, stripe, stripe. I'm about to put Beatles on a milk carton. Yeah, 94 season. Yeah, that's a 94 season. And then um, has it Braves, Expos. Oh, okay. Wow. See, I gave way too much for mine. I gave I gave like sixty bucks for that. Yeah. So I gave way too much for it. But uh, I'll end I'll end up I'll end up biting that. That's what I'll end up doing. I'll I'll probably hold on to it until I can find somebody who wants it. If I end, if I ever find somebody who wants it bad enough, they'll get it. But one good thing about it, ah, uh, yeah, mine doesn't have all that ID. $30 for a basic 2019 set, yeah. I'd have been so much better to get that. I'd have rather had that <laughs> than to have that one. That's just me. That's just me. But uh, I I saw it, and the guy that showed it to me online or whatever, I asked, I said, is it sealed? And it is sealed, so yeah, um, yeah. I I wonder how far back what's how far back the seasons you can get and still have them sealed up from Apple. You know, like kind of like you know, kind of like uh, Keith does with his Play dot com games. Charts, charts are card stock. Yes. Yes, they are. Yeah, they are cardstock. Yeah, they one ten. I think. I think they're one ten. That's that's pretty much. That's pretty much this same as these. Uh, the ones I had run off here, they're actually a little thicker than these are. The ones you order from. I think the ones you order from play.com are 85. I most of them get them put eight up. I, I most of the time get mine at uh, 110. You can get to 2015 master set. For yeah. I never looked it up. I just ended up. Uh, uh, yeah, man. I'm with you. I'm with you, Anthony. I'm with you. They couldn't believe um, uh, me about not wanting to out myself, but I don't. I, I just I, I see it now and I'm like no no thank you no I, I'm with you and I, I've got to find me a set that I like I don't know what I've got to do but um, I know there's enough people out there that like it that if I hold on to it it's probably not going to lose value anyway 
I just, I, it's just not going to pick up any value in my in my house. I'll just, I'll keep it somewhere. I'll keep it in good, you know, good standing. I've got a lot of them. Then, um, I'll show you. Yeah, it's some good cardboard stock. It really is. Well, listen. So yeah, that's some hard stuff. That's some good. That's some good, 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 good stuff there. Yeah. So, yeah. Have it sitting crying. It's not crying in a day. Are you kidding me? I got, I, oh, man. Yeah. That, I, I'll tell you what. Is anybody in here on an electric football? Remember the electric football guys, the little guys that used to vibrate? Yeah. I had all 28 teams from 1978. I recently got rid of those. I recently got rid of them, Anthony. And um, I don't know. It's been a few years. I've had them for I had them for a few years. And um, remember the Buccaneers in their, their little orange uniforms. Um, somebody, somebody in in Baltimore, Maryland area. Um, where was it? Anne Arundel area, Anne Arundel County, or something like that. Uh, and um, I, I got rid of I got rid of every one of my head, and um, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers it, it drew a mint for me. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah, like eighty bucks. I, I got like I, I for all twenty eight teams, I got over a thousand bucks, and I gave, I didn't give near that. Well, my mom and dad bought it for me when I was a kid, so they got it for me. I had the electric football Super Bowl. That's what I had, and um, yeah, yeah. It's it's been, yeah. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Now, have you? Uh, uh, it was. Uh, let's see. What was the two original teams? Seventy-eight Cowboys and Steelers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had I had the original bases and all where you could turn them and all that kind of stuff. Um, goal post, I had the quarterbacks I could kick your footballs through. I had it all. And my wife was like, when I met her, what the hell have you got there? And I said, that's some of my toys I had, you know, my games I had when I was younger. And um, I ended up I ended up selling it. Um, You'll hate what I said. I third the football field away. I actually got rid of it. It was getting it was getting to be where I had a little rust on it, but I threw it away. But the the, the players were in immaculate shape. I mean, great shape. Um, I I am looking for a basketball game that I had when I was a teenager. Uh, Hey, well, first off, you guys was asking me about player things. Have you guys ever heard of VCR quarterback? I've got two or three of those downstairs. VCR quarterback comes on a long board, you know, and you know you, you got a field and all that type of stuff. And then sometimes you, <laughs> I had it, never played it. I've got a couple of three of them downstairs. Um, I've got that dice ball game I was telling you about. I've got that, um, and it was rated real high. And I ended up just buying it. I just bought it on a whim. I didn't pay a lot for it. But, uh, yeah, the uh, VCR still, <laughs> birds. I have, you know what, I got a VCR in here. I got, v I got a VCR in here. That I have about twenty five hours of wrestling on VCR. I mean, WC, not not much WCW. It's more NWA. I've got more stuff like uh, uh, I've I've got a lot of Mid Atlantic wrestling. I have a bunch. I don't know. I mean, you can call it collect or whatever. I just never got rid of it. Um. I've I've got a bunch of it. Like, uh, oh yeah, yeah, Magnum TA, 
Nikita Koloff, the the uh, the Mulkey brothers, uh, Rocky King. Uh, oh, they were. Florida was good too. Kevin Sullivan just Kevin Sullivan could make a territory. He was all. You know what? Let me tell you this one. I went to a wrestling show twenty. Da, 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 da. What year was it? 20, 2007, I went down to North Carolina and um, it was an AWA show, okay? And it was um, Steve Carino and I forgot who the other guy was. Anyway, they were, like, they were supposed to be the champions or whatever. And I went down there. It was Cameron, North Carolina, right there where the uh, the brothers live. The, uh, What's her names? Um, Hardy Boys. I went down to Cameron, North Carolina. Went to watch this wrestling. I, I don't think I gave like eight, ten bucks to go watch it. And um, I saw a shirt down there, purple colored, and on the front of it had the two Mulkey brothers on it and said Mulkey Mania. I bought that shirt. And uh, I wore it one time. And then I told my wife, you know what? I said, I don't need this anymore. I put it on eBay. And I cleaned it up real good, nice. And I think I put like 30 bucks on it, right? A lady named Mulkey ended up buying, <laughs> buying that shirt from me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Junkyard Dog. Um, who was the other black guy? Ah, oh, geez. What was his name? Most time he was a bad guy. What the hell was his name? Ah, God, I can't remember things. My mind goes. No, nah, not Ray Candy. Mm -mm. No. No. This guy, this guy wasn't, I mean, he was nice size. Jeez, most of the time he was a bad guy. Damn. No, not pistol. Shaska Watley. <laughs> now, what was this guy's name? Um, oh, damn. <laughs> Robbie. Robbie's, look, Robbie's looking to, uh, what do you call it? Adopt my, adopt my kids. My kids are... You wait till you, I will, I will show off. I'll go back to one of my first videos. Go, go back to one of my very, very first videos. And I'm actually down in my dungeon showing a lot of my board game. It's not a dungeon. It's the basement. It's my dungeon. She says it's not. <laughs> now, what was the guy's name? Um, oh, damn. All right. Well, he fought Junkyard Dogs sometimes. <laughs> it's, it's time to start spreading out the well. Butch Reed, that's it. Hacksaw Butch Reed, that's it. That's his name. Hacksaw Butch Reed, yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> but we I, we used to go over to the Lynchburg, Virginia Armory, and we would we would get together. And um, I, we were, we would park, we parked, I don't know, a tenth of a mile, let's say, not very, very far away from the army, but it wasn't a lot of good places to park. Then all of a sudden we see this girl walking in and she's got a bag, toting it in there. And I'm like, whoa, hang on for a second. I'll help you carry it. And it was, it was, uh, Jake, Jake Roberts' sister, Rockin' Robin. You guys remember her? So, I, I don't even know what year it was. It had to be in the late 90s, early 2000s, something like it. Yeah, she went through a lot, man. She went through a lot with that asshole of her father she had. What was his name? Uh, Grizzly. Yeah, Grizzly Smith. He must have been one crazy dude. He had to have been one crazy guy, but, you know, uh, yeah, Grizzly Smith, because he had Sam, 
Sam Houston. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The broomstick, the human broomstick. That's what Jim Cornette used to call him. The human broomstick. Sam Houston's going to wrestle this week. <laughs> Sam Houston's cool now. I, I watched a couple of shoot videos of him, and uh, he filled out a little bit. He was just like he was just like Mulligan's youngest one. I mean, that guy. I'm I'm serious. It, they look like he was scared of the dinner table. Kendall went. Kendall went them. They were scared of the dinner table, but uh, yeah, it was some wrestlers, man. I really, really liked watching back in the day. Um, let's see who else. I liked Ole Anderson a lot. Uh, uh, let's see who else do I like? Oh wow, gosh, man, I ain't getting put on the spot like this. Uh, does anybody? Does it? Did anybody ever remember watching? Um, Battle of the Belts 1, Battle of the Belts 2, and Battle of the Belts 3 um, down in Florida. Does anybody remember that? Battle of the Belts. If, you, if you're a wrestling fan, okay, um, go to YouTube and put Championship Wrestling from Florida, Battle of the Belts. That's that's ten that's ten hours of wrestling. You're gonna sit there and watch, and you'll be like, "Oh my god, it was awesome!" Rick, Rick Flair wrestled the main event in all three. Uh, Road Warriors won in all three. Uh, all right, all right, Anthony, have a good one, man. Do not hide away so much anymore. I know you I know you're saying you're working a lot this week, but this weekend. Oh, I root food over board games. I got you. Yeah. My man looks like he works out a lot, too. If anybody's ever saw Anthony before, he, he got some guns on him. But um, have a good one, BBG. But uh, if you – anybody that's really, really into wrestling, check out that. That, that – uh, all right, Strat, have a good one. Have a good one. <laughs> Well, Robbie, do you want you don't want to buy it from me? <laughs> you don't want to buy it from me. Because <laughs> like I say, I just bought it myself. It's not been sitting away for long. Trust me, you can look at it. It's not been gathering dust. <laughs> hey, if you be like, this is the best way to do. It's sitting here. It's sitting right here. I, 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 by all means, if you find somebody that you get a better deal with, I would go for it. I just don't want to lose my badonka donk in the process. Well, you probably don't. I probably overpaid for it. That's what I'm saying. I just don't want to lose my rump in the, in the process. I just want to kind of break even on it. That's all. And I probably overpaid. That's what I'm saying. I, I probably didn't do my homework on it, which is not like me. Most of the time, I always do my homework before I go buying something. But I saw that one day, and the guy told, showed it to me, and he said, it's sealed and everything. And I, I bought it from him. So but it was more than – probably more than – but before I even got it here, shipped here, I was like, I wish I wouldn't have bought it. But because I had an old one, and I mean, the infield was worn out. And, it was rough looking, but I like to say I paid a buck for it, two bucks at a yard sale. And I played it a little bit and I was like, I'm burned out. I played maybe 10 games. This one, Zorro games. I couldn't even tell you the, uh, which the Rangers is the only team I've even looked at. I, I couldn't even tell you the other team. I mean, who's in the, each one of the sets. I couldn't tell you, but what I didn't like about it. Uh, let me tell you what I didn't like about the game. It didn't have the whole full roster. Like it has maybe three, four. I mean, it, what was he got? 21, 22 players on each team. Doesn't have a full roster. I don't like yet. Um, especially if you're going to play National League, you need a full roster, I think. But that's just me. But, you know, it's. 25 years old almost, so 
we'll see. Uh, if I hold on to it, if nobody wants it, we'll see if it maybe gathers some steam. If it does, we'll hang on to it for a little bit. But status pro basketball, that that's what I would I would oh my God. I'd find I'd find a way to get something to somebody or trade something or something to get that game. I want that game. I want that game. I'd love the mid eighties set of status pro, but that's what I want. I was big Avalon Hill. I was big in Avalon. I had the old the original old title bout game, Avalon Hill. I had that. Um I loved that. And um I ended up giving that to a friend of mine and went in the service. He took it with him, and he was in the Navy. How much did I pay for this set right here? I have to go back and look. It's over 50 bucks. Too, too damn much. I gave way too much for it. Now, I know you really like it, but I don't think you want to give that for it. I mean, you just said you could give, what, 30 bucks for a damn new one. So, and I, I don't know that this is one of those – it quote unquote advanced sets. I cannot tell you that. I showed you everything you had in it. I, so I don't know. I don't know if it's called advanced or if it's not called an advanced. So, you know, but uh, if I, if I can find a status pro bat, uh, basketball, um, I heard Jim Tronzel. Jim Trunzo, rather, is uh, title belt two. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's a master set or not. They, they can look at my video right here and see if uh, Beatles or Ken. Oh, I'll show it. If they're both here still, I'll show them if they want to look at it. But Jim Trunzo, title belt two boxing. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about that. So, um I may go pick that up pretty soon. I may order that. Um, what else am I looking for? Oh, Formula D racing. I may look for that too. I know that's another racing game. I need. <laughs> I need to get on the milk carton first. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, I, I I don't I don't really know which way I'm going to go from here as far as what game I want next. Um, Robbie, do you have <clears throat> do you have red, white, and blue racing? You do, right? I think you do. Not yet, okay. But everybody's telling me. Everybody's saying get the scram set, the fictional set. I might do that. I don't know yet. Each, you know, each set of drivers is what twenty bucks. So you just gotta kind of pick and choose your shots, as they say. So you can save for the knockout punch if you can find something you really, really want. But uh that's not a master set. I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was. So Ken, I got you know. What, how they call it, screwed on that deal. Well, I screwed myself. The guy told me how much he wanted for it, and I gave it to him. So I gave more. I gave too much. I gave way too much for it. I didn't think it was a master set. Yeah. So, you know, you'd have to. Master set has more um, charts and graphs, I think. I think, you know. I don't know, but that's that's the way it came. That's exactly the way that one came right there. Let's look on the back. It may even say it's not a master set. Yeah, so he came with all that. Yeah. Yeah. So this is not even it's not even the master set, Robbie. Yeah. So then you either have to I don't even know that those cards would go with a master set. I can't even tell you that. I couldn't even tell you. 
They may not. Yeah. Oh, okay. I get one out. Yeah, see, they don't have even have the MasterCard stats on them. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I showed a few earlier. Yeah. It has, it has a 94 starting lineups. I think opening day starting lineups or whatever. All right there along with the Apple book. This is all from uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, before they moved to Alpharetta, Georgia. And certificate and the charts. Charts. Here's the charts. All right, we'll look at the Yankees. Let's see. We'll, we'll open the Yankees up. They're the closest ones. All right. Wade Boggs. How about that? Wade Boggs. All right. I don't think so, though. Basic cards. I got you. Yeah. So that, you know, this is just a basic set there. So, Robbie, that's not even what you want then. You know, so like I say, I, I've definitely got, you know, the short end of the stick on that one. But hey, but, but, you know, I'll keep. Is that good? Sevens and eights. I was a big Boggs fan when he was in Boston. I was a big Boggs fan. It was a big box fan. When he left and went to New York, I was like, what the hell are you doing? What? And it were blue blazes of hell are you going? But he went. But, uh, uh -huh. wow. Top just barely wants to go down on it. Yeah. But, uh, go back and look at some of my original. I'm talking about. I've done 82, 83 videos. We'll go all the way back to one and two. And it's some stuff I say I'm selling on eBay. <clears throat> and um, I've got stacks of games, stacks of racetracks. Now, I've sold some of the racetracks since then. Slot cars, all sorts of stuff, man. I mean, you won't believe uh, some of the stuff I've got. Most of the board games I've never even heard of, but I've got them. So uh, I just acquire stuff. I'm a hoarder. That's what my wife says. I keep stuff and keep stuff and keep getting more stuff. <coughs> yeah, yeah. That, well, I, I gave too much for it, too. I know I did. So uh, I'm going to have to find somebody that really, really just wants a 90, whatever, four set for that, for whatever reason, you know, whether it's the Yankees or Expos. Maybe I, have to, I may have to find somebody in Canada that's like, you know, you know, big into that. I know my game, 95 and 94 games, they were the same. They were pretty much the same, just different teams. Have you ever played this game, Ken? I, I find it boring. I really do. Oh, KB Toys, really? Yeah.
Oh, cool. Cool. I, uh, yeah. So, and so you played this set. What are you doing? Okay. Yeah. And I bet, I bet this is one of the piles he's yet sitting underneath another pile because if anybody's ever played it, I try to find nice ways. Um, Ken, wouldn't you consider this a boring set of 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 what Atma's done? This is pretty much boring. Now he may not agree with me, that, but to me that's that's not kind of that's not the kind of game I want to be playing. That's me. That's me. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. To me, it's just. It is. It really is. It really is. I, I, Robbie, it's boring. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, it's not a lot. It's not a lot of. You can't make but so many moves when you don't have but so many players. You can't do but so much. And you got like A pitcher, B pitcher, C pitcher, something like that. Yeah, and that's what I don't like. That's what I don't like. Where you can't make options when you don't have options. That's why I don't like it. Smoother and quicker, maybe. Yeah, maybe, but nah. I, you know, I I like to be able to make moves. Cool, cool, cool. And a master set. I mean, if you was going to get a master set right now, how much would it run you? Probably 150 bucks. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 not a lot to it. You get a few more home runs maybe in this game. I think you do. I bet a master set probably run you 120, 150 bucks though. In Atba, if he's going to get the whole the whole works, over a hundred. Yeah, yeah, that's what I figured. I got you. But you know, in fairness, I've I've looked at uh, <clears throat> I've looked at Stratomatic, and I don't want that. I don't like that. That's me now. Okay. I'm a real, real picky person. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. So you can keep this and get a master add on to go with this? Is that the way it works? I thought this was just basic, and this is as much as you can go with this thing. Oh, okay. I didn't think so. That's just basic. No add-on with that. Okay. I got you. I got you. No. Oh, see, Robbie? The cards that come with this set doesn't have the master set stats. So it would not work. So this has got to be somebody that's just old school, wants to play just the old school basic set. Has everybody signed up for my racing season? We have about 18 to 20 cars already, I think. I think. I think. Is OG still here? OG, you still here? You sleep? I think OG left. 
but uh, oh, okay. What do you bid again? Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll hang on to it. So, Robbie, Robbie should go to the Atma site and actually find Atma, whatever you want to get. Now, I see little teams on there all the time. Some of those damn things are higher just for one team. It's crazy on uh, eBay. It's nuts. I'm just going to keep it boxed together, let it go all together. <coughs> Oh, minor leagues. Wow. You see it all, though. Mm. Oh, speaking of that, I saw you playing that tonight, ID. And it's got every player. I mean, you went through every damn pitcher that the Cubs had. You started, you, you were working your way up to the concession stand with their pitching staff. That was pretty funny. That was pretty cool. But uh, uh, I what was I gonna say? Jeez. Wow. I watched I watched a game from last night. Oh jeez. Was the Red Sox somebody? I, I get around when I'm not I, a lot of times I don't watch them live. I try to catch them as many I try to catch as much stuff as I possibly can. I gotta watch Scully when he's out there because I tell you what, that guy's into it. What the hell is up with him, right? Ron? I call him Scully. Sounds just like him. But Jester sounds like, uh, who did I say he sounds like? Uh, sounds like um, Rich Eisen off the NFL Network. <laughs> <coughs> Kids math homework. <laughs> yeah, I need Jester sounds like Rich Eisen. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, I guess you guys already saw my hockey game. Shootout hockey. That's pretty good too. <laughs> yeah, I ended up getting that. I ended up buying that from somebody. That just I just ended up flying through and just saw a website. I ended up buying the PDF from them, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's cool, kid. I got the brand new set, twenty eighteen set. I got that. It's pretty cool, man. It really is. Cost a little bit to print all that stuff out, uh, but uh, I like it. I like it. So I've got racing. Um, golf. Now, has, has anybody get to play golf? What the hell they call it? Uh, history maker golf. Has anybody got that? Because I'm thinking about getting that championship. And, uh, <laughs> Um, I'm thinking seriously about getting that. I went with play.com a bunch of times and I, I can't say anything bad about them. So, uh, that may be my next, 
uh, order of businesses getting it all. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, let me ask you, there's two Earls. There's table, was it tabletop and Earl and tenacious Earl, right? And tenacious is the one you said something about. Yeah, he can, yeah, I, I, I just go get mine printed somewhere else. Yeah, that's the way I do. I go somewhere else and get mine printed. Uh, the one you had on there was tenacious. Yeah. And then the other guy, uh, he's a big Indians fan. Yeah. The other guy's a Phillies fan. <laughs> oh, you print yours at work. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I've watched a few of his videos. Yeah. I've watched a few. Yeah. He does. Is that history maker? Is that is that history maker golf he plays? Okay. All right. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I had I had to Q and A the other night, and people were asking me stuff, and I said, "Well, look, if I ever go on ID Jester's channel, I can't tell you everything about me because if I tell you everything about me, then the the two truths, <laughs> I can't do that. So I don't tell everybody everything. Snowing." Uh, it's supposed to snow a little bit tonight. How about the Redskins? Anybody see the idiotic move they made today? Oh man, do I have two two truths and a lie thought up? Oh yeah, I got two truths and a lie thought up. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but um yeah go back to some of my old old videos and you see all those board games i got a lot of sports games and uh, a lot of a lot of racetracks and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Yep. But the history maker is coming out with championship history maker April the third. So I may line up for that. Go ahead and tell them I want to go and get that. Be the first one in line and be like, roll with it. Uh, not a lot, not a lot. I have a few downstairs. Um, uh, wow. I wish I could take my camera down without taking my whole computer. I'd do that, but it's downstairs where I'm at right now. But I've got a lot of it shown on, online. I've got wrestling rings. I've got all sorts of stuff. I just, I pick stuff up at different places. Just wherever I can. And I end up, uh, like, my wife says I hoard it. <laughs> one of them, I don't know, it's one of these little WWE rings or whatever, and they, they can fight. Oh, I do too. I do too, Ken. I got to get rid of a lot of stuff. I've got so much stuff. It's crazy. But, uh, I've been asked about my wrestling videos, and uh, now I wouldn't sell those. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't get rid of those. I enjoy them too much. I I still flip them. 
pop them in there. You can even, you, you even can pay $20 for any seasonal apple. Yeah. Now, I wonder if those cards would work with this, though. I bet it would. The basics. Of some, they were saying you can't intermingle them. The basic cards have to go with the basic set. Oh, okay. Online version. Uh, now, do you have an online version of Atma? Do you already have it? Wow. Now, Ken, do you have the online? Do you, Ken, do you have the online version of it? <coughs> yeah, okay. Now, if I want it, let's say I wanted to say, okay, the hell with it. I don't want a board game. I want, I want to get Atba Go. And I want to have 2019, 2018, whatever the hell. And I want all the teams. What would we be talking about? Download of how much? Still be 150 bucks? Or is it a lot cheaper? Download. And those of you that play it online, Oh, you can pay $20 per season or $20 a month for all the history. Oh, oh, so to keep playing it, you got to keep paying. So, like, if you wanted to play and the next month comes around, oh, okay, so... <clears throat> The game itself is free. I got you. I got you. Wow. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. And it wouldn't take that long either. Oh, okay. Now, Robbie, do you do the subscription that gets everything, but you don't own it? It's kind of like renting it, I guess. I believe I'd rather buy it straight, just buy it straight to hell out rather than rent it. I don't believe I'd like doing that. Yeah, but, but when your subscription runs out, you have nothing, right? That's the way it works. Like, you know, like when your subscription runs out or whatever, if you don't pay another $20, then you got Zilcho. Auto renews. Okay. I got you. So what's that? Two forty a year? Yeah, it's probably a little more than I'd want to plug. pay for that. Yeah. Any of you guys play football? Any type of footballs? Now, I watched, who was that I watched play football? Was it playplay.com? Play I did not like that. It didn't, it's not even downs. It's just like trying to get it down the field. It almost reminded me of playing Little League football or something. I, I'm sorry. I did not like that. I, I forgot who was playing it, but it's like you got to run through chunks of field or whatever. I don't know. You get three or four plays, almost like Canadian football or whatever the hell. I was almost like, I didn't, I couldn't make sense of that. Wow. Now, do you get involved in those, Robbie? Those at Magoo tournaments? This is interesting. This is interesting, guys, because I'm learning stuff right here. I haven't, haven't yet, but I might. Oh, and nothing wrong with that. See, I like uh, – okay, I got you. I like 
Dave Littles. I like watching Dave Little in his basketball. I like that. That's football for if you're a side name, not their real football. Oh, okay. Wow. You guys know a lot of stuff here. It's a lot of online stuff. Yeah. But uh, I'm trying to get better. So my cameras and stuff like that, however way I do it, somebody's got to come up with a way that I can hook up a camera to me to where I can show what I'm doing here. Yeah, action PC basketball is pretty cool. Okay. All right. That's cool. Then I guess I guess if you get a few teams together, a few people together, you draft guys or something, right? I always love drafting because it's like, okay, you know, people like to draft everybody they love, but I've I've always been like I've always I always like your best players. So if I was going to do stuff like that, but that's cool. That's real cool. I like uh, I like I, li I like watching uh, Premier League soccer too. Wow. Okay. Yeah. But you play online right there with it. <clears throat> and you have more players than I, now the app, do you get more players than what you get right here on the team? Cause right here, you only get like 20 players. That's all you get. And see, that's what I don't like. I don't like yet. You only got like three bench players. AAF football. My, it's going to be considered the minor leagues for the NFL from now. Wow. How about that? AAF football. I've yet to see a game, so I, don't, I can't say anything good or bad about it. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing, though. That's, that's why I don't like it. Yeah. Okay. Payoff pitch and inside pitch. Yeah. Or or the one that uh, ID Jester was playing earlier. Hell, he had to have every player in the world. He had a stack of Cubs that damn deep. He even said if they batted twice or pitched an inning or some shit, pitched two innings or – batted two or three times, they were included. I'm like, that's crazy. That is crazy because, like I say, he had a set of cubs that thick. That's wild. What's up, Nemos? I was talking about bat. I was talking about, uh, talking about wrestlers earlier, too. Uh, Anybody ever remember Gene Gene Ligon? <laughs> Gene Ligon. <clears throat> One of the Thunderfoots. <laughs> Gene Ligon. Hey, he was crazy. Yeah. See, I liked all the jobbers. Here's a link to Appago. I don't think it's me, man. I really don't. Gene Snitsky. Snitsky was a guy. He was in WWF. Yeah. Abba doesn't thrill me. I, I don't mean nothing bad by it, Rob. It just. Nah, not enough players. Not enough players. Right. <laughs> George South, Rocky King. Uh, Who else? Let me think now. Swede Hansen. Uh, Abe Jacobs. Does anybody remember what Abe Jacobs 
finishing maneuver is. Oh my God. Abe Jacobs. That right there ought to be worth three points there. Now, you know, if you were playing in the Kiwi roll, the Kiwi roll. <laughs> That's right. Kiwi leg roll. Anybody ever remember Mighty Igor? He suffered a bad, a bad accident one time. The Mighty Igor at the hands of Eric the Red. The Mighty Igor. Does anybody remember what happened to the Mighty Igor? Yeah. <laughs> Cigar in the eye. <laughs> but, but does anybody actually know what happened to the Mighty Igor? Why they did that? Does no, anybody know why they actually played it out that way? He was in a bar in Raleigh, North Carolina, and um, 79, 80, one of those two years. And um, Greg Valentine was outside, had no idea Mighty Igor was inside. And uh, Igor was fixing to leave for whatever reason. And here come, and somebody told uh, Valentine outside, Igor's inside. So obviously he had to hold to the, you know, okay, I'm going to kick his ass type deal. He comes to the, he comes to the door, boom, and just opens it, bop, right upside the eye. And he blackened his eye like that. It had been rumored that somebody in his family did it, but it blackened his eye kind of right here and around the edge and all. And um, Jim, Jim Crockett Jr. come to him and said, look, you cannot be showing up on our events like this. The day that uh, Igor got burned, if you watch it close, if you watch a video, you can actually tell where he already had a, a, a bit of a, you know, bit of a place on the side of his eye right there. But what they done, they had a makeup girl do all that. And then they went in the ring, and when they did it, they wiped it back. I don't know exactly what else they did to him. But anyway, he was like this and, you know, <laughs> showed up. Then they they let him set out of wrestling for like now like like eight weeks. They gave him like two months off. Oh yeah, Tommy Young was the best. Tommy Young was the best. Uh, I agree. Um, he would, you know, and then <laughs> raise a hand to do that to him. He was funny. Um. And he made he helped make him match. Tommy Young did. Bob Caudle was great. Bob Caudle was great. Oh, he's going to attack him again. He was pretty good. David Crockett. He was horrible. He was horrible. I'm sorry. David Crockett. He was bad. Real bad. Uh, Ivan Koloff, anybody out? Did they ever he hear Ivan Koloff talk? He was Canadian. You do realize that. And uh, he had a shoot interview before he died. He was awesome. He was awesome. Or Landrum, he didn't do a lot for me. I didn't like Landrum. I liked a uh, guy in Florida solely. And I don't. I, I know I'm probably going to get shot down with this one. I do not like Jim Ross. No, I don't like him. I'm sorry. I was never a Jim Ross fan. Well, he was he was one of uh, Watts' guys, so that was enough right there for me. I was never a big Dr. Death guy or Eddie. Um, what the hell was his name? Eddie uh, Gilbert. Nah. 
Uh, I, some of those guys, I didn't like them very good. They, they weren't my favorites, but uh, some, of, some of them. Went, <laughs> you remember uh, Private Nelson? Uh, what the hell was his? What did he go by? Oh, shit. He was a Russian. Private Jim Nelson. Private Nelson. Uh, not Volkov. What the hell did he go by? Uh, oh, jeez. Not used enough. What the hell was his name? Private Private Jim Nelson or whatever. You remember? Yeah, you guys remember him? What was his Russian name? <laughs> oh, jeez. No, not Nikita Khrushchev. <laughs> Wife was guessing Nikita Khrushchev. It wasn't Crusher Khrushchev. Crusher Khrushchev was Darso. Barry Darso. And then you had Nikita Koloff, but what was what was Private Jim Nelson? The one that got together with uh Sergeant Slaughter. Boris Zukov, that's right. Boris Zukov, that's right, that's right. Oh, wow. Boris Zukov. Yeah. Had a had a head on him like a a watermelon. He his head was huge. They said they said you couldn't hurt him. Ah, I googled it. Ah, ah. At least you admit to it. <laughs> huh? That's uh, My wife said she was gonna Google it for me. Yeah, I try to remember them all. I I cannot do it though. It's so hard. Uh, baby doll. Nicola Roberts. Nicola. She married Sam Houston. <laughs> yeah. And then let's see. Tully Blanchard. James J. Dillon. Johnny Weaver. Yeah. I met him a few times. He was a good guy. Let's see. Yeah, Johnny Weaver, the Weaver Lock. Everybody knows what the Weaver Lock was. That was his sleeper. The Weaver Lock. <laughs> Jeez. The Weaver Lock. Let's see. Best. Uh, how about this? How about this tag team? Jimmy Valiant and. Uh, who was he? <laughs> oh, God. I can't. Oh, number one, Paul Jones. Yeah, he just passed away not well, a couple of years, well, about a year or two ago. I like I like Paul Jones. Before he became a manager, when he was a manager, he was trash. But when he wrestled, he was good. Jimmy, Va Jimmy, Va not Laser Tron. <laughs> that's that's Guerrero. That's Guerrero. <laughs> no, the the one that wore that damn. <laughs> that was funny. The one that wore that damn flying thing, you know, walked around the ring, spinning around. Bugsy McGraw. Bugsy McGraw. He looked like he looked like he was hard up. He looked like he was homeless. <laughs> we had two homeless guys coming to the ring, folks. They were funny as hell to watch. For those of you that don't realize what old wrestling is all about, some of these guys coming up with the answers here, they know their stuff. They remember it. <laughs> yeah, Dick Slater. Yeah. <laughs> it was asking me whether to, to – uh, to avoid your, what you just said, I said, ah, let's let him show it. This is a good one. Miss Atlanta Lively. Miss Atlanta Lively. Does anybody remember who Miss Atlanta Lively was? That's funny. 
<laughs> Ron Garvin. <laughs> the Barney Rubble of professional wrestling. <laughs> the Barney Rubble. <laughs> it was so funny. Yep. It was good. Uh, let's see. Who else? Oh, man. This is Rick D. We have been given our orders, and we will do as Paul Jones has told us to do. <laughs> this is Rick D. Never said this is right. This is Rick D. We will do as we have been instructed to do. <laughs> I used to do a bunch of them. <laughs> Let's see, who else? Oh, my gosh. Some of them are funny to watch. Uh, God. I used to like Disco Inferno. Disco Inferno. <laughs> the, the Dancing Fool. <laughs> That's all. And that is all the people need to know. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he was funny as shit. Pork Chop Cash. I don't remember him too much. I mean, we used to watch him a little bit. Bad Wyndham. I don't like you nah bit. I don't like you nah bit. <laughs> and Jimmy Valiant. Home of the street people. We don't like you nah bit either. Nah bit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Tony Atlas. Robbie ain't giving up on that. <laughs> Robbie ain't giving up on that. We done passed him. We're, we're old, the old farts in here talking about old wrestling. Tony Atlas and Rocky Johnson. Rocky Johnson. About the nearest nothing wrestler ever. And then look what he ended up having. His son named Rock. The Rock. <clears throat> yeah, Tony Atlas, he was from up around Roanoke. And uh he went to he went to uh one of the wrestling matches somewhere down in North Carolina. And uh I don't know, like twelve guys beat the hell out of him one time. I mean just beat the shit out of him. And I, I don't think he ever told why, but it was crazy. That was crazy stuff. Jimmy Valiant, sucker, sucker. I lose my voice if I say sucker too much. <laughs> yeah. Axe and smash, demolition. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, you're right. It was. What the hell was his? It, was he the mass superstar? Something like that. No, I tell you, he was an assassin. He was the assassin. Yeah, he was the assassin. Then he went over there and did that gig with them. Yeah. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I used to love to watch Pistol Pez Watley. Shaska Watley. I don't like Barry Wyndham nah bit. He knows I don't like him nah bit. <laughs> If you could sit and watch him without laughing, it was that was some funny, funny shit. It really was. Tommy Wildfire Rich, yeah. Yeah. He was pretty good to watch. Uh, Bill Dundee. Rick Flair called him a little midget. 
he got called out that time. I, he actually, Ric Flair, oh, yeah, my Greek Kabuki. I'm going to bring my Greek Kabuki out. And Jimmy Fayette, he's going to make you a ball-headed geek. <laughs> my Greek Kabuki. Then it was great Muda after that. But, uh, yeah, I took my dad. He's 80. He's 85 years old. We went to the, we went to the barber shop. Uh, it's been about five, six months ago. And the guy, the guy in there had a hat on. You couldn't see any high at all, okay? Just had a hat on. Daddy said, I want you to cut almost all my hair, but don't make me a bald-headed geek. The guy took his hat off. He didn't have a damn bit of hair. I was sitting there laughing. Oh, yeah. WWE, even in the 80s, I don't think was that great then because everything was cartoons and shit. Once they got, once they got Hulk Hogan, it was just it was over with. Because Roddy Piper in the Mid-Atlantic, and then look at Roddy Piper in the WWE. So much different. So much different. So much different. Roddy Piper. How about Gene Anderson? <laughs> Gene. Gene. <laughs> we used to do that shit. We used to go to school, do that. Gene Anderson. <laughs> we were mean. We were mean kids, but anybody that knew that, he used to do that all the time. Uh, Ray the Cripple of Stevens. How about him? Remember him? Uh, Black Jack Mulligan Jr. Who was that? Black Jack Mulligan. Let me give me a bottle of water. Black Jack Mulligan, Brute Bernard. Yeah, the Brute. Ball headed. Yeah. Barry. Yep. Black Jack Jr. Dog Hyle. <laughs> Angelo Mosca. Kelly Kaniski. <laughs> He always had Canada written on his back. <laughs> yeah, Kendall was, he wasn't very good. <clears throat> Florida heavyweight champion. Uh, yeah, Joe LaDuke. Well, I tell you what, guys, getting to be about 10, 30. We're going to have some more wrestling here soon. We're going to talk some more wrestling. How's that? I enjoy it. Um, you guys have a great evening. Um, if we can find some more people in my wrestling league, I'm a wrestling Racing league. I was looking at that and said wrestling. If we can find some more people in the racing league, uh, let me know. I want to. I want to get some more people. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it tonight, guys. Yeah. It, anytime you ever want to talk wrestling, I can. I can find some stuff. Yes. 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 I got to find OG. We're not going to be. We're not going to be racing at least probably at least until April. Man, eh, maybe before April. Maybe before it's all. It's beginning to march now. I we want to get some more cars. Yep, I got you. I got you. Yep. So uh, go back and look at some of my old videos and find some of my board games I got. Um, you may you may be like, "Wow, it is something old." Some some of it's probably junk, just like this one. You know, this Apple game right here is just just old. That's all. But. Uh, you guys, once uh, – oh, that's cool. That's cool, Robbie. Yeah, and 
one of these times when you do a uh, one of these days when you do a app uh, go game, do it online where I can actually watch you do it. Yeah, do a feed. I'd like to watch that. Um, once I get a History Maker Championship Golf, that's going to be in my rotation. Um, shootout Hockey, I'm still in the first round of the Western Conference from last year, so I'm working on that. Uh, we'll see how that works. Racing right now is at a standstill. We're not going to race for a while. And my golf, I'm uh, doing the final round of the Masters. So we'll see how that works. But uh, I enjoy most all, all the stuff I do. Robbie? Yeah. Uh, demos. College basketball. There used to be a good old Avalon Hill game. Cotton that cost. It's a hundred, hundred and fifty bucks. But I don't think it has a three point line. But I would love I'm with you. I would love to find a good board game, college basketball. But uh, they're hard to find. They really are. A good game is hard to find, and one you really, really like is even harder to find. That's why when you – I can care less about the NBA. Yeah, I got you. I, you know, I used to love to go watch Magic against Bird. Today's NBA, I can care less about it. LeBron, that's me. Now, I'm not, I'm not down to anybody likes LeBron James, but – <laughs> Got one right here. Got one right here. Good woman. I won't trade. I wouldn't trade her for all the good games in the world. Aww. How about that? You got it. <laughs> Love you too, honey. Yep. And I promise you, if she wins one of our races, she's gonna make. She's gonna make an appearance. She's gonna make a cameo. How's that? She wants to win so bad. You guys don't even know how bad she wants to win some of these races. Just one. She said just one. But yeah, she'll she'll make a cameo appearance. But um, yeah, I am ready, ready, ready to race. I showed everybody all my new race tracks. So, right there. I got a bunch of printed out. Probably 25, 30. All right. Do that. If it's live, Robbie, it'd be even better. Do it live. I'll watch you. I, I, I flip through people watching this and that and this and that. And then a lot of times I'll catch the end of games and stuff like that. Uh, and, and then I just leave something like great game or boo, I wish the other team would have won or something like that. But I hope you re guys realize I'm still, I, uh, you know, I'm rooting for whatever team I'm rooting for. But I, I enjoy watching this stuff. I really do. You folks have a great evening. I will probably not be around much uh, tomorrow online. I'll probably be doing some other stuff. Um, uh, huh? Cleaning. I'll be cleaning tomorrow, she says. Tomorrow's Friday. Yeah, I know. She said, I'm going to be cleaning. I guess I'll be cleaning tomorrow. I got some other stuff. I got some other places I got to go tomorrow, too, though. So, uh, you folks have a great one. Give me a thumbs up. Yeah. Slap that like button. And if you haven't joined, join Rob and his wild shenanigans. You folks have a great one. Till I see you again. Uh, good night and God bless. Have a great one.